But what if my family and friends just want everything that I do for free? Oh my gosh, sure they do. You're going to have a script. You're going to have an answer for that. And that's something you need to have your whole time in business, by the way. You, you need to have a script in advance where you direct people to how they pay for it, how they sign up. So people ask me to go to coffee all the time to pick my brain. I do not do brain pickings. I do not have time for all the coffees. I will say, hey, I do coaching as a line of business, but if you need help, here are some free resources on my site. I think if it's family, especially if it's close family. Now, if it's like, you know, the guy that was your boyfriend in third grade, you can be a little harsher with him. But if it's like literally like a cousin, like like my personal boundary with giving things away for free, which I had to really think through when I left, left Ramsey, because it's like people perceive me as this like multi-bazillionaire because my face has been on a bus and I've been mm -hmm. on the Today Show and I've left everything and I'm living on my savings account. And so me decide, like the expectation of what I can give away for free is probably not based on reality of what I actually can. So I had to really think mm -hmm. through that. So I decided, I decided when I left Ramsey, these are my personal values. Everybody can decide for themselves. I decided I will never charge family and friends. Now I'm at, I am at a place in my career, in my finances where I can do that. I do not, not, and when I say family, I don't mean a cousin I've never met. I mean family, like my actual people, relatives that I know their name. Okay. Yeah. That I see them. Family and my close friends, not acquaintances, my friends. I will never charge them. I'm not building my business on them. And so if they want to take my course, I gladly gift it. I gladly comp it. And that's true for, for or if it's just someone I just feel led to. If someone just comes to me and I'm like, I just, the Holy Spirit says, you're going to bless this person. Yes. Okay. Mm. Um, everyone else, I charge like a normal person because I have bills to pay like everybody else does. And so you decide who you give things away to free to and, and, and who not. But I think with family, you can say, hey, I, I totally get it. I'm building a business. And part of my growth is respecting myself enough to charge. And I, I, I can't in my good conscious charge one person and then give it away to another person for free. So starting out, I'm going to be charging everyone to maintain the integrity of my business, my value and what I'm building. And you That's... can script it. You can script it to say it however you want to. Thanks so much. I understand if budget's a concern, I've got free resources for you here. Thanks so much. I don't give away things for free, but I, you know, you, you script it. And the, the most important thing is not what you say. The most important thing is that you script it in advance. And the mm -hmm. reason you do that is because it takes the getting put on the spot out of it where you panic and you say, yes, I'll give you my whole life for free. And you didn't really mean to say that. And then you regret it later. And it's hard to take mm. that back. Mm. Script it. So you're prepared. And then you have an answer for them. That's so good. And who, who can come back to that? Like nobody's going to clap back. They're going to be like, okay, she set that boundary and we need to walk away now. Well, and it's cool because here's what's interesting. I've had people try to negotiate. And my mom used to always tell me this with her cake business. You'll have people try to negotiate. And if you hold your boundary, amazingly, they just come up with the money. Amazingly, they're just all of a sudden willing to pay. They just wanted to try. They just wanted to test a little bit to see if they could get it for less or whatever. When you're like, no, this is the cost. They're like, okay. And they sign up. Like, it's like, it's a, you're like, was it that easy to like, I don't know, respect myself and, and hold the boundary. Um, but, and the other thing is the people that are, are, are mean, hateful, don't sign up. You don't want them as a customer anyway, mm -hmm. wish them well and clap them on out of here because you don't want them. So when I would get these hate emails, when I first launched my course, so I left Ramsey and publicly the announcement was in January, August is when I launched my course, August or September. And I roll out my course. Now you have to keep in mind though, all my courses at Ramsey, which they set the price, which is fine. We're like $99 for a course. The course I roll out is $14.99. Or I guess it was it was $12.99 in that first year. And then it went up to $14.99. Sure. $1,499. Not $14.99, like $15. Bucks, $1,499. And yeah. I was confident in this price. This is the tier that I am worth. This is the tier that I am in. This is who I want to work with. This is my price. I'd rather work with less people at this price point than a bunch of people at a cheap price point. So it was a pivot. And I would get hate hateful mail because my audience, I knew I'd lose some people. My audience was used to this price point. Uh, the audacity, I, these exorbitant prices. And I just thought to myself, I'm not for them. I'm not for yeah. them. The, when you lose people over your price or overcharging, those are people you want to lose. Thank God that you lost them. Thank God mm. that you lost them. Mm. That is a powerful statement right there.